good morning dear students let's learn the next lesson we were talking about the tenses already we covered present and past tenses i told you that depending on the time of action the tenses are divided uh, if something happens at present we use present tense if it has already happened then we use past tense uh, but if it is going to happen or will happen we use future tense first we will see simple future tense like other tenses here are also uh, there are four simple future future continuous future perfect and future perfect continuous now we are going to see where we use simple future tense okay first let us go to the structure of simple future tense subject plus will or shall plus verb one that's the structure of it for example i will or i shall see you tomorrow uh, he will meet you tomorrow for subjects uh, i and we we use shall and with all other subjects persons we use will this is the structure of a uh, simple future tense what i have just told you is that the structure of simple future tense that is uh, i will or i shall open the door that is the structure of statement if it is a negative sentence uh, we must use she or i will not open the door she will not open the door etc okay and when you make it into question the thing that you have to do is uh, put the auxiliary verbs first will you arrive on time will they want dinner etc let's discuss the use of will or won't that is first you suggest to predict the future second decide to do something at the time of speaking then offering agree promising asking when somebody refuses to do something for all these we use will see the usage first the usage is predicting the future situation is this jenny has a maths exam next week mark and sinji are talking about it so how will they talk mark do you think jenny will pass the exam sinji yes she will pass easily she is well she is well prepared for it okay see um, that mean that is predicting the future okay that means uh, since the exam is next week uh, already predicting the second usage is to decide to do something at the time of speaking okay Uh, here the situation is larry just arrived home from a meeting with cl a client he went straight to the kitchen to check on his wife julia uh, who then told him that his brother ryan had called okay the sit and question julia is asking ryan phoned while you were out larry okay i'll call him back that means already he decided that he will be calling back so in order to use that or in order to express the decision we use uh, will or simple future tense next usage is offering to do something mike saw jane carrying a lot of groceries so uh, this conversation those bags look heavy what is the offering that he makes i'll help you with them so simple future is used to express an offering with the usage of will another example samantha wants to buy a graduation gift for her best friend but she is on tight budget she decided to borrow money from her brother marvin i need some money marvin okay i'll lend you some how much do you need i'll lend you some that is offering next usage is agreeing to do something carl is requesting tim to give a book to his elder sister wendy so can you give this book to your sister wendy 
sure i'll give it to her when i get home that means that is agreeing he is agreeing that he will give it to her so simple future is used to express something one agrees here is another example for the same usage uh, beth and the house painter are discussing her preferred wall color uh, can you paint the walls cream instead of pink marvin okay i will that is agree next usage is will and won't are used to express promising for example in the song i'll be there for you the singer promises to be ready to help the girl he likes and make her feel better she would she said okay and i'll be there for you that is promising i'll be there for you when you want someone who cares when you are down and feeling blue i'll be there i'll be there for you when you call me i'll be there okay so in order to express promising we use a simple future tense there is another example kyle told to arnold about something bad he did arnold promises to keep it a secret i won't tell anyone what happened i promise okay see here again a promise next usage is to ask somebody to do something this we usually use will you please be quiet or will you keep quiet here we are asking somebody to do something won't is used to express when somebody refuses to do something linda called her husband about her car problem honey i need your help my car won't start okay that is refusing something shall is used with i and v and it is used for showing some offering and suggestion example shall i buy you some cake of cake and cookies that is offering to do something that means i am ready and uh, only asking whether i am i buy it here again offering shall i close the window okay this is a help that i offer another usage of, of, for we sorry shall is suggestion tina is making a suggestion for dinner shall we have creamy mustard chicken or di- for dinner okay suggestion uh, we often ask it shall we have a debate in the class likewise it is used to express a suggestion in order to express future we can also use going to be going to means is going to are going to etc we are going to meet jane tonight is future thing or future plan or future event but we will use here going to instead of will or shall uh, that means this is expressed in future when we see going to that is expressed in future see these examples you are going to meet jane tonight are you going to meet jane tonight you are not going to meet jane tonight okay you see the structure of all these uh, for example first one is statement second one is yes or no question and third one is uh, negative sentence be going to expresses that something is a plan means i'm going to make uh, biryani today going to means uh, it happens in the future but it is a plan it expresses the idea that a person intends to do something in the future also it does not matter whether the plan is realistic or not see more ex- see more examples here he is going to spend his vacation in hawaii she is not going to spend her vacation in hawaii okay when are we going to meet each other tonight all these expresses future events but you see uh, it's used instead of will or shall we have used here going to it's going to rain means seeing the um cloud uh, we are assuming that it's going to rain mm, i'm going to sleep to express a decision or plan 
when we learned present continuous i think you remember it's used to talk about future events which we have already arranged okay that is one of the usages of present continuous means it will be used in simple future if it is already arranged see the example i'm going to the cinema tonight already it's planned we use present simple to talk about future events that we cannot change okay and uh, some of the events will be happening in the future but uh, we have already planned it and which we cannot change for such uh, events we use present simple to express future example hurry up the train leaves in 2 hours already it's scheduled it cannot be changed similar way when we talk about the school reopens on monday I, even though it happens in future we use simple present to talk about a future event that's already planned and which we cannot change let's move to the next tense that is future continuous tense okay future continuous tense when do we use future continuous tense to talk about things that have been planned or likely to happen okay or an event that will be continued for particular time in the future see we'll be having a quiz at 8 in the morning tomorrow that's a plan i'll be watching tv when my aunt calls from australia tonight okay that means that will be a continuous action we will be taking our final examinations from december 16 to 18 already a planned action for all this we will use future continuous tense let's shift our focus to the next tense that is future perfect tense this is um used about pa- the past in the future that means it must have happened in the future okay already we know that perfect tenses will be used to express an action that completed uh, present perfect it just completed past perfect it happened in somewhere in the past and future perfect it will ha- will must have or will have happened in the past its structure is subject plus will or shall plus have plus v3 Okay, that means as a difference here only we will add will or shall along with have forms see examples i will have finished by 10 a it's not happened but i assume that at 10 am i will have finished you will have forgotten me by then okay she will not have gone to school assuming something we will not have left will you have arrived okay so it must have happened in the past when do we use this tense to express future purpose that means it is used to express an action in the future before another action the same same thing we, we have studied in past also i think you remember uh, for example the train will leave the station at 9 am you will arrive at the station at 9:15 am when you arrive the train will have left okay that means all other things are expressed in simple future but you see it is expressed in future perfect see more examples you can call me at work at 8 am i will have arrived at the office by 8 okay so um, which is happening first i will have arrived the first event will be used in um, perfect tense and the second one will be used in a simple future they will be tired when they arrive uh, they will have not slept for a long time first action is they will not have slept, will not have slept I see more examples i will have been in london for 6 months by the time i leave okay uh, by monday susan is going to have had my book for a week is going to is used for 
future tense okay by next november i will have received my promotion you can go through these examples too sally always leaves for work at 8:30 am in the morning so she will will not be at home at 9 o'clock she will have gone to work okay see the other examples too what's the difference between all the perfect tenses past present and future past when they their first child was born they had been married for 3 years for example okay that means after their 3 uh, years of marriage they got a child that is the meaning of it present perfect ted and amy have been married for 24 years okay that means uh, the time uh, that happens now it is re- it is referring to the time at present but past it o- they talk about an action that happened in the past and future perfect next year they will have been married for 25 years that means now it is 24th year next year it will be 25 years it will be completing in the future so what is the difference past it will be an action that happened in the past present means it is related to the present uh, that means uh, when we take this year including this year uh, it is told that ted and amy have been married for 24 years future it refers to the completion of action in the past sorry future the last of all the tenses is future perfect progressive or continuous tense okay from um, what we have learned about present perfect continuous and past perfect continuous we must have understood that it talks uh, talks about an action which was going on for a long time which is going on for a long time and future perfect will tell you about an action which will be going on for a long time in the future it talks about or emphasize the duration of an activity that will be in progress before another time or event in the future also it's used for an ongoing action that will be completed at some specified time in the future also it is known as future perfect continuous or future perfect progressive same tense the structure is subject plus below shall plus have been plus verb plus ing form or verb in present participle or subject plus going to be plus going to okay is going to are going to um uh, etc plus have been plus verb in the present participle or ing form examples i will have been studying college by the time mom allows me to see boys okay next example i will or i am going to have been studying college by the time mom allows me to see boys okay your dog will have been dying of hunger by the time you feed it or your dog is going to means will and is going to can be used in the same uh, places structure of negative sentence is subject plus will not or shall not plus have been plus verb in pro- present participle or subject plus is am um, or are plus not plus going uh, plus have been examples i will not have been studying college by the time mom allows me to see boys or your dog is not going to have been dying hunger by the time you feed it okay for making interrogative sentences or questions first you have to place will or shall or if you are using going to you must use is am um, or are in the beginning plus subject plus have been plus verb in the present participle examples will i have been studying college by the time mom allows me to see boys 
or is your dog going to have been dying of hunger by the time you feared it so the thing is when you make the question first you have to place the auxiliary verb or the model at the beginning children don't be confused where to use will and where to use going to going to will be used for an immediate action that is going to happen in the immediate future okay i'm going to um, have my lunch means now it is almost time and uh, just now i'm going to do that means in the future only it happens but immediately it happens will will be uh, mentioning about an event that is going to happen in the future but the time duration will be uh, more or distance of time or the gap of time will be more compa compared to going to okay here we wind up our class we completed the lesson so please do the exercise in the text and submit to me thank you all